Hi, have you ever dreamed about creating a game but don't know how to code or create one? Well, you are in for a treat because today I'll show you how to create a simple game using ChatGPT without writing a simple code by ourselves. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, building a game has never been this fun and easy. But that's not all. Stay around until the end. I'll show you how to transform your game files into an APK file for your Android device. That way you can play your game on your phone or you can share your game with friends. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. First we need an idea for our game. To build your own game, you can explain your idea into ChatGPT and explain how it should work. Or you can ask ChatGPT for game idea. For this video, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to suggest me 5 simple games I can build with HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. You can see in just seconds, I got 5 game ideas that I can build with HTML, CSS and JavaScript codes. For this video, I'm going to create a simple tic-tac-toe game. So I'm asking ChatGPT to give me HTML, CSS and JavaScript codes for the tic-tac-toe game. As you can see, we got all 3 codes to build our tic-tac-toe game. Now to check that our codes are working properly, I'm going to use this free tool called CodePen. Search for CodePen in your browser and click on the first link. Click sign up for free and sign up with your Google or email account. After you sign up, you will come to CodePen home. Click here and you will come to this page. Here you can see that there are three sections to add our HTML, CSS and JavaScript codes to create our game. Now we need to add our codes in these fields. To do that, go back to ChatGPT and first copy HTML code and paste it in HTML section. To add the CSS code, go back to the ChatGPT and copy the CSS code and paste it in the CSS section. Same way, copy and paste the JavaScript code. After you enter all three codes, move this part up and you can see a preview of your game. So let's test and play our game. As you can see, our tic-tac-toe game is working completely fine. But we can improve more of its looks, more options and different buttons to make it more attractive. To do that, go back to ChatGPT and ask it to regenerate the codes with the new improvements we want. Now you can see, we got new and customized codes. So copy the new HTML code and go to the code pane and replace the old HTML code with new one. Same way, replace the old codes with the new codes in the CSS and JavaScript. Now move up this part and you can see our game background color and our button colors are changed. And also, we got a new pop-up window showing who the winner is. If you want to add more options or customize more, you can regenerate codes with ChatGPT. I'm okay with the modifications of my game. Now we tested our game and it's working completely fine. Now we need to save our game codes to our computer. To save the codes to the computer, we need to save it to the notepad. Open up a notepad and first copy the HTML code and paste it here. Now click save. Before we save, create a folder to save your game files. To save your HTML code, name it index.html. Make sure to use these saving methods. If you don't, the game might not work properly. To save our CSS code, open up a new notepad, copy and paste the CSS code here and save it as style.css. Finally, open up a new notepad and copy and paste the JavaScript code here and save it script.js. Now we successfully saved our codes to the computer. Let's see how we can run the game locally. To do that, go to the folder where we saved our game codes and open this index file. You can see that the game is running locally and you can play your game in your browser. We successfully saved our game files into the computer and the game is running completely fine. Next, we need to upload our game online, which means we need to host our game. To do that, I'm going to use this site called tiny.host. Click the link in description to come to this site. Here, first enter name for your game. Next, we need to upload our game files as a zip file. To do that, right click on the game file folder and select send to and click the compressed folder and your file will transform to a zip file. After that, drag and drop the zip file to tinyhost. Now click on Google and log in with your Google account. Fill these fields here and click complete. Ok, now our game is uploaded online. You can go to your game by clicking the view site. And our game is opened up in a new tab. With this URL, now you can share your game with your friends and everyone. 
Our game is finally live. Next, we need to convert our web app into a mobile app. Before we convert our game into a mobile game, we need an engaging mobile icon for our game. To create one for free, go to canva.co. In here, click create a design and click customize size. Enter 512 by 512 as size and click create new design. First, select a background color for your icon. I'm selecting this purple color. Next, let's design our icon. To add graphics, click elements and select a shape suit for your app. I'm selecting this line shape. To add more weight to your line, click here and increase the line weight. Next, I'm increasing the line length by dragging the two corners. To change the color, click here and select a color you like. Okay, I'm adding another shape like this. I'm creating an icon for tic-tac-toe game. So next, I'm going to add a circle shape. Click the element and search for circle shape graphic. After you added the circle, adjust the size of the shape and place it as you like. Next, select a color you like. Same way, quickly I'm going to add X shape to my design. Okay, I'm done creating my game icon. To download our design, click share and click download. Again, click download. Okay, now our game icon is ready. Now all we have to do is convert our game into a mobile game. To do that easily, we are going to use this free tool called Web into App. First, we need to add our game URL here. To add our game link, go to our app and copy the URL and paste it here. Next, enter name for your game. I'm entering the tic-tac-toe as my game name and click next. Here we have an option to add an icon for our game. Click on the set icon and upload your game icon. After you upload, click make app. Now fill these fields and click register. After you register, again click make app. Now you will come to this page. As you can see now, our game converts into a mobile game. To download our game, click the cloud icon. Then click download free and click download all files. Now our mobile game is successfully downloaded to our computer. As you can see here, we have our mobile game files as zip files. Now we need to extract these files. To do that, select the game file and right click on it. Then click extract here and your files will be extracted here. Now open this folder called Android and you will find this APK file here. Now you got your game APK file. Now we can go ahead and easily transfer our game to the phone. To do that, we use Google Drive. Go to your browser and open Google Drive. Now drag and drop or upload your game APK file to your Google Drive. After it's uploaded, now let's download and install our game into the phone. First go and open Google Drive in your phone. Here you can see your game APK file. Click on it and open it. Now you can see our app is downloading to our phone. Next click install. After the install, click open. Now you can see our game is running on our phone. Let's play and see that our game is running fine or not. As you can see, our game is working smoothly without any errors. You can add more customizations and options if you want. I know this is not a very complex or big game, but overall, I'm very happy with the game I built without any coding knowledge. I think you can do better than me. Today's AI tech makes it possible for anyone to create games, even if you're not familiar with game development. Give this method a try to build your first game and share your thoughts in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.